Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to be myth busting. That's right. So some people don't think that in-wall subwoofers can get the job done. Well, I'm telling you, they can. And I'm going to prove it because I've got the Next Level Acoustics Pro Dual 10-inch in-wall subwoofer. And I've tested these things. And you know what? All the way down to 10 hertz, flat. That's right. Stick around. Check it out. I'm going to show you everything about these because they are awesome. Before we get started, if you're into tech high fire movies, be sure to push the subscribe button for new weekly videos. All right, guys, next we will be unboxing this subwoofer. Check this guy out. Can't really see you guys, but here he is. <laughs> We're well, check, it, check it out. All right. Again with their like really nice cloth. like really nice cloth grills. I, I like that a lot. It, it gives a more premium feel to the speaker. They got feet on it. Like this puppy can just sit. Yeah, like, I think this is like this is definitely a demo box, right? You know this this is a you, uh, when you buy it, it doesn't have this enclosure on the back. This is definitely one for let's send it out so the reviewers yeah. can take a look. Interesting. Yeah, so you guys can see now um, how there's this frame and it's inserted into the demo box, but this would actually sit between your studs and just bolt right in to where you wouldn't, it would be completely flush with your wall. Yep, and you can see this is the extent of the speaker from here to here, and then this is just the, uh, the demo box that they have it mounted in. I wonder if it's an open backed in wall so no it's it's closed back it's closed back yeah, but it has a different enclosure yeah yeah and this is this is just for shipping and and getting it out to folks like us to take a look at let's take a closer look guys so let's take a look here on the back so you're gonna have one set of terminals for both of these subs in this unit okay now this is a passive subwoofer guys but it looks like this is these are dual tens, right? That's right. And the, the way they have this wired is uh, with one uh, input. So this is going to use a single channel off of your processor, and obviously a sealed enclosure. Nice. I do like the grill. Yeah, I really like the grills. Next, we're going to be opening up the amplifier with in-wall subwoofers, guys. Um, they're all going to be external amplification, and it's by design, really. Um, you want to be able to run your low voltage speaker wire to your in wall subwoofer to keep everything up to code, and then your high voltage electricity is going to actually connect to the amplifier in your rack. So you just run like 12 to 14.2, I mean, you can do 16.2 if you had to, but um, I always like to go a little thicker on the gauge. Um, again, here at Dream Media, we can help with providing pre-construction brackets as well as bulk wire so that you can um, kind of do all of this in your building stage. Planning is key when, it, when building systems, guys. Absolutely. It's, it's all about just really creating that game plan and having the right wires at the right location so that you can make seamless connections. So we just got our sub amp out of the box. Is this just for a single sub? I know a lot of these companies will have it to where you can drive multiple. Yeah, so this, this is a single channel amplifier. This is a speaker power unit. So okay. if you're familiar with subwoofers, on the back you'll have all your dials. Well, on this unit, all your dials are here on the front. On the rear, you've got one XLR and one RCA input, and then your speaker terminals, uh, which is your speaker cable out to the subwoofer and a power input. So very straightforward speaker power, really nice brand. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and hook this puppy up for you. Um, luckily, Jal's test lab is pretty amazing. He's got all these jumpers down at the bottom of the wall where you can really just quick connect things, uh, which is making demoing gear here um, Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward and a little easier. So we're gonna get it hooked up for you guys and then we'll play a demo. Now let's jump into the measurements of this dual in-wall subwoofer. Now, first off, this is recorded using my standard in-room methodology. Remember, this is not an anechoic chamber, so you're gonna see a lot of room interaction, but you can go back and directly compare this to measurements that I've done on a ton of other subwoofers. So you can see how this 
works compared to, say, the D15S from Perlison or whatever you want to look at, right? I've got a ton of them, so feel free to go back. They're all measured exactly the same on the same equipment, so they are apples to apples to one to one measurements. All right, so um, we are looking at, uh, you know, a sweep from 10 hertz up to 100 hertz here. And a couple of things to point out. So this stuff up here around 80, 90 hertz, that's all room interference. And also this dip right here in the in the 30s is a room interference. So uh, the first thing I'll say is with uh, with room gain and, you know, under this 20 hertz, you do get some, some room uh, gain going on. This thing is rather flat, right? It looks, looks pretty darn good and it's pretty darn strong. Um, now, another thing to point out is that this is using external amplification. You can see the amplifier here that's being used. Um, so there is no internal amplification modification of the output, right? So uh, with a lot of uh, prefab subs that you buy that have uh, plate amps on the back, you'll get uh, some type of DSP that is protecting the subwoofer uh, that rolls things off. This is pretty much just what the sub does, right? It's just a straight amp pushing this thing. So you're kind of getting what it what it throws out. And man, it throws out a lot. It's really super strong. I mean, this this is 10 hertz, right? This this is way down there. Um, and this is where I started my sweep set. So we swept there, up three decibels more, looking good. Another three, looking good. Another three, looking good. Another three, <laughs> looking good. Another three, looking good. Another the three looking good. And so we're already up to 90 decibels at 10 hertz out of a pair of 10 inch subs, which is pretty rocket. And remember, this is sealed too, right? So, um, you know, that I, I really like the sealed subwoofer and I particularly like a sealed subwoofer that you don't have to see in the room, right? And with these, you just put them in the wall and, you know, it's this deep, right? You, you saw the, the, the images of the, of, of the box. I mean, this thing is narrow, right? It, it fits in a two by four wall. Um, it's the stinking good is what it is. All right. And, uh, another three decibels and I'm seeing really no compression and we're already up to a hundred decibels here, uh, at the top end at, what is this? Uh, at 70 Hertz. Then another three decibels, still nothing. Another three decibels, still no compression whatsoever. And uh, we're almost up to that 105 at the, at the top and almost down at 95 at 10 hertz. Now, I did get a little bit of noise coming out of the box at this point, and I think this was uh, not related to the sub itself, but I think it was something to do with the um, enclosure the, for the demoing, right? Because obviously I didn't cut holes in my wall to install this thing, and they had built this little demo box. And I think that the demo box might have been making a little noise, but I didn't want to damage anything. So I just said, all right, let's just cut it off here because I think I've demonstrated exactly what we need to see out of this is that this thing is, you know, super linear, right? Um, a lot of, a lot of room interactions here, but as far as the sub goes, I mean, it's solid. And uh, these two guys, they, 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 they do have a lot of motion too. They, they're, they're really getting after it to put out uh, this kind of volume, especially at these low frequencies, right? And that, but that's what I love about the sealed sub, right? You, you don't have them going crazy and unloading under port tuning. So, they can play down super low, super solid. Because, you know, at 10 hertz with room gain, you know, it's doing the same thing that it's doing at 30 hertz, right? And that's outstanding, especially for a smaller diameter driver. Because as you know, uh, there's there's no replacement for displacement, right? And uh, the larger the diameter and the, and the more stroke it has, the more pressure it creates, which is more decibels. And so these guys are getting after it to do what they're doing here. Uh, so all in all, I think this is a very impressive outing uh, by the sub. And, you know, I think four of these in any room is going to satisfy absolutely any cinema file right now. If you're a base head, that's a different thing, but four of these in wall in your room would be outstanding. Right. And, uh, once I figure out my screen situation, this might be the way I go because then I can get all the big boxes off the floor. How cool would that be? Right. Then you walk into your room and there's just chairs, seating, right? You sit down, you have an experience, right? You don't, you don't have to see all this stuff. I know some people like to see this stuff and there's nothing wrong with that. If you like that, good. But for me, I just want a clean room. I can go and hit a button and, and watch a nice movie and it just sound rocket awesome. And this is a great way to get there. So we're going to be playing a demo for you guys in just a minute. This is on the a dual 10 inch model. They do make a single 10. Um, if you're wanting to either spread out the base throughout the room more, we can do uh, multiple subwoofers. Or um, if you're not needing quite the bass response, then you can just go with this single 
but I like adding a bunch of these into the system. It looks like we got a, a 32 hertz to 100 hertz frequency response on the um, on these subs here. Okay, folks, that brings us to the end of the Next Level Acoustics Dual 10 inch subwoofer review. Great product, particularly when you use it in the right use case. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want one of these for yourself, make sure to reach out to Dream Media Home Theater. They can hook you up with everything that you need. Uh, links are down in the description. Remember, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all those things, and I'll see you in the next video.